In this problem, we're trying to figure out how much kinetic energy is lost during a collision. So we start out by finding the original amount of kinetic energy possessed by car 2. When you do this, make sure you include the mass of the car, 500 grams, the mass on top of the car, 183 grams, combine them together, put them in kilograms, find your kinetic energy. Then find your momentum. Again, only cart 2 has momentum before the collision. After the collision, the two carts stuck together. So we take the total mass. We take the momentum we had before the collision. Set it equal to the momentum after the collision. And get the total velocity after the collision. We could then get the kinetic energy after the collision. This is found by using the total mass since both cars are moving together, multiplied by the velocity that we just found of the two cars moving together, squared. We then take the original kinetic energy, we subtract off the final kinetic energy, and this will equal the change in kinetic energy. Obviously, the kinetic energy is going to be going down, so this will be a negative number. But when you enter it, you're going to enter as a positive because we're looking for the energy lost. 